Welcome back to You Know. First time ever, an object from interstellar space has been observed to visit our solar system. In the vast expanse of the universe, humanity has merely begun its exploratory journey, barely scratching the surface of the mysteries that lie beyond. Despite our limited understanding, the possibility of extraterrestrial life has intrigued us, often prompting contemplation on our cosmic solitude. This narrative took a paradigm-shifting turn with the arrival of Amumu, our first interstellar visitor, a celestial object that defied previous encounters and left us marveling at the vastness of potential beyond our world. Recently, the esteemed astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson stirred the scientific community by unveiling declassified images of Amumu, shedding light on this extraterrestrial messenger. The unveiling of these images, previously concealed from the public, raises questions about the entities responsible for dispatching this enigmatic celestial traveller and introduces the concept of the Yorp effect in the context of Amumu. Turning back the clock to 2017, a momentous discovery reshaped our understanding of the universe's grandeur. Utilizing the PanStars-1 telescope, Rob Worry made an astronomical observation that initially seemed routine, an unidentified object gliding through space towards Earth. Initially perceived as a comet or asteroid, further scrutiny revealed an unprecedented revelation, Amumu, the first interstellar object detected within our solar system, excluding minuscule dust grains. This celestial visitor's slanted orbit and rapid speed hinted at an origin far beyond our solar system. Earning it the Hawaiian moniker Amumu, meaning a messenger from afar, astronomers quickly recognized Amumu's unique characteristics, wild swings in brightness defying easy explanation and an elongated shape estimated to be five to ten times longer than its width. These characteristics fueled speculative theories about its origin and purpose. One hypothesis suggests that tidal forces near a star may have stretched Amumu into its peculiar cigar-like form. Although challenges persist in explaining specific dimensions, to gain deeper insights into Amumu's shape, astronomers turned their attention to similar objects within our solar system, such as the asteroid 25143 Itokawa, visited by the Japanese Hayabusa spacecraft in 2005. While Itokawa shares some similarities with Amumu, the interstellar visitor remains distinct in its elongated proportions and the absence of a tail. The acceleration exhibited by Amumu added an intriguing layer to its mystique, resembling a bicycle suddenly gaining speed without pedaling. Amumu entered our solar system from above the flat plane where planets orbit, moving perilously close to the sun before continuing its trajectory below the planetary plane. Astonishingly, Amumu maintained an incredibly swift velocity, reaching approximately 196,000 meters per hour, surpassing the speed of any human-launched object. This exceptional velocity has led to the hypothesis that Amumu may have originated from a binary star system, introducing new dimensions to the ongoing cosmic exploration. The unveiling of classified images by Neil deGrasse Tyson serves as a catalyst for unraveling the mystery behind this celestial voyager, propelling us into the depths of space with a renewed sense of curiosity and wonder. The theory proposes that gravitational interactions within binary star systems can eject objects at high velocities. If Amumu did indeed originate from such a system, it is plausible that the gravitational forces exerted by the stars propelled it on its interstellar voyage, accounting for its remarkable speed. Another possibility suggests that Amumu's velocity was a result of interactions with other celestial bodies in its home star system. Encounters with planets or other sizable objects could have acted as gravitational slingshots, propelling Amumu to its observed velocity. This mechanism is commonly utilized by space missions, leveraging the gravitational pull of planets during flybys to gain speed. However, further research is necessary to determine the likelihood of such encounters and their contribution to Amumu's velocity. But there's more to Amumu than just its speed. Studies have revealed fascinating details about its composition. It has a thick outer layer, similar to a cosmic shell made of carbon-rich materials that solidify due to cosmic radiation during its extensive travels through interstellar space. Beneath this protective exterior, Amumu reveals its remarkably dense inner nature, primarily composed of rock and possibly containing elements of metal. What sets it apart is the absence of water or ice, which distinguishes it from typical comets or icy celestial bodies. Additionally, Amumu's surface has a reddish tint resulting from prolonged exposure to cosmic rays over hundreds of millions of years. 
Scientists have also considered the possibility that Amumu's high speed is a consequence of its shape and composition. On the other hand, several individuals have requested the contribution of renowned experts such as Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Koku to the discussion around Amumu. Interestingly, Neil deGrasse Tyson refrained from commenting on the matter until substantial evidence and the recent declassified photos became available, leaving everyone eagerly anticipating his perspective on the subject. Some researchers suggest that the object's elongated form, as inferred from its light curve, indicates that it could be a fragment of a larger body. Suppose a Muma broke off from a larger object due to a collision or other violent events. In that case, it might have acquired a substantial velocity during the separation process. This would imply that a Mumu's speed is not intrinsic to its nature but rather a result of past events. Comets, for instance, traverse our solar system at varying velocities. While some comets can achieve speeds comparable to a Mumu's, such as Comet Hale-Bopp, they typically exhibit residual gas and dust due to their volatile composition. In contrast, Amumu displayed no such characteristics, distinguishing it from known celestial objects. Another comparison can be made with asteroids, rocky objects that orbit the Sun. Most asteroids in our solar system move at significantly slower speeds than Amumu. For instance, the average orbital velocity of the well-known asteroid series is approximately 17,880 km per hour, less than a fifth of Amumu's estimated speed. This disparity emphasizes the exceptional nature of Amumu's velocity and its distinction from familiar solar system objects. Here's where things become even more intriguing. Some experts speculate that Amumu could be more than a naturally occurring object. They suggest that it might be an artificially crafted creation, meticulously made by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. Amumu may be part of an incredibly advanced alien spaceship or equipment designed for exploration. According to this theory, Amumu's unique features could serve multiple functions. Its elongated structure could enhance its resilience during interstellar travel, and its propulsion system could enable precise maneuvering through the cosmos. Popular figures like A.V.I. Lubb, an Israeli-American theoretical physicist and astronomer, strongly believe this theory. Lubb even proposed a controversial hypothesis that a Mumu could be of extraterrestrial origin, suggesting that it could be an artificial object or even a piece of alien technology. He argued that its peculiar properties, such as its elongated shape and unusual acceleration, could indicate an artificial origin. Lubb's hypothesis generated widespread discussion and debate within the scientific community. However, it is important to note that many scientists and astronomers have expressed skepticism about his claims. The prevailing view among most scientists is that a Mumu is likely a natural object, such as a comet or an asteroid, with its unusual properties being the result of natural processes. Wesley C. Fraser and other researchers combined brightness measurements from multiple telescopes to investigate a rotation period. They concluded that no rotation period can account for the observed brightness variations. Instead, the object appears to be tumbling in an excited rotational state. This unusual, peculiar tumbling motion was unlike anything seen before. This irregular rotation has puzzled scientists since its discovery. Observations made by astronomers have provided valuable insights into Amumu's spin. It completes a full rotation every 7.3 hours, which is relatively fast compared to the rotational periods of other objects in our solar system. Additionally, its brightness varies significantly as it spins, indicating that different parts of the object reflect sunlight to varying degrees. This irregular rotation has perplexed scientists and led to various intriguing theories. One hypothesis proposed to explain a Mumu spin is the spin-induced outgassing theory. According to this idea, volatile substances beneath its surface are exposed to solar radiation as the object tumbles through space, causing it to vaporize and create tiny gas jets. These jets act as thrusters, imparting a torque on a Mumu and causing it to spin irregularly. This implies that a Mumu's composition may contain volatile material susceptible to sublimation under the influence of solar radiation. However, further studies are needed to confirm if this mechanism is responsible for a Mumu's peculiar rotation. Another theory suggests that a Mumu's tumbling motion could result from a prior collision with another object. It is conceivable that a high speed impact distorted its shape and set it into an irregular spin. 
This collision might have occurred in the object's home star system before being ejected into interstellar space. However, the exact nature of such a collision and the object involved remain speculative due to limited observational data. Detailed analysis of a Mumu's shape, composition, and surface features could provide clues supporting this theory. To better contextualize a Mumu's peculiar movement, let's examine other celestial objects with similar behavior. One such object is the asteroid 4179 Tutatis. This elongated asteroid, discovered in 1989, displays a tumbling motion akin to a Mumu. Scientists have proposed several theories to explain Tutatis's erratic rotation, including the Yorp effect. According to this effect, sunlight exerts a torque on the object due to uneven thermal radiation. This torquing effect gradually alters the asteroid's rotation, leading to its irregular tumbling motion. While this mechanism could also apply to a Mumu, its exact role remains uncertain. Interestingly, another comet, 67P Cherium of Gerasimenko, also showcases an irregular rotation. Researchers discovered 67P Cherium of Gerasimenko, often called 67P, on September 11, 1969. This comet orbits the Sun and exhibits a striking shape and distinct movement. It features two distinct lobes connected by a narrow neck, giving it a unique appearance often compared to a rubber duck or a bowling pin. Scientists have named the larger lobe body and the smaller one head. The comet's elliptical orbit completes one revolution around the Sun in approximately 6.45 years. It belongs to the Jupiter family of comets, indicating that its origin can be traced back to the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated by icy bodies. However, researchers believe that gravitational perturbations caused by Jupiter's immense gravity captured 67P into its current orbit. This previously studied comet undergoes various changes in velocity and distance from the Sun. In the case of Amumu, scientists believe that the outgassing of volatile substances from the comet's surface plays a significant role in its tumbling motion. As the ice on the comet's surface vaporizes under the influence of solar radiation, it creates localized jets that act like thrusters, altering the comet's rotation. The similarities between Amumu and these objects hint at potential underlying mechanisms responsible for their unusual spins. Further exploration and detailed analysis of these objects can provide valuable insights into the nature of Amumu. The implications of Tyson's theories are vast, ranging from technological advancements to philosophical introspections. They disrupt conventional astrophysical theories and potentially reshape our understanding of the cosmos. If any of his theories hold, it would mark a significant paradigm shift and propel us into a new era of space exploration. Thanks for watching. Check out the video you see on your screen right now, it is unbelievable.